Greetings, YouTube. We're out here doing some network testing, uh, working on getting better data. And we're out here at the Tangle Outlets on a Sunday. And I wanted to, you know, see what the networks look like. And I'm doing some different testing. So today's testing is going to be more along the lines of putting all three together. This is a request by the viewers before I start diving deep into the performance of all three individually. And so we're right here at the Tango Outlets. It's a busy Sunday afternoon. Um, very crowded. This is uh, as good as it's going to get. The M MGM Casino is just over that ridge. So uh, this is the National Harbor. If you look at it, I'll show you on the map where we are. And that is a Verizon site right there. This is as close as I can zoom in. And it overlooks this area. I wanna see what Verizon is offering along with T-Mobile and AT&T at the same time on this video. So let's get a good look. So, we got the coverage maps pulled up. Coverage maps for all three carriers. We got T-Mobile that's on the left. Verizon is in the center. And AT&T is on the right. So, what type of network speeds are we gonna get here? Uh, in a separate video, uh, separate videos, plural, I will have them going ahead up against each other, more detailed on performance. Right now, I just wanna see what the coverage looks like. I wanna see what the potential performance looks like on this video, and I'll have other videos diving deep and probably try to work in some gaming also. So let's see what it looks like. So first, coverage maps. I'm waiting for the actual speed test for the uh, coverage maps to come. I've been told by the developer that it should be coming to Android in, I say, three to four months. So I'll be incorporating that into my network testing also. Once it arrives, I just wanna go ahead and get this new setup looking good and flowing good but this is what i'm uh, working on so i would probably do the speed testing from the coveragemaps.com website uh, off their app right now nobody's really done this area so i would would probably end up being one of the first being it a uh, tangle outlets now Pull up speed test and go. Verizon, T Mobile, ATT. And Verizon is showing off. Now, uh, I'm curious to see if this is millimeter wave and or C-band only. Um, I don't see any millimeter wave nodes in the area. So it could be all C-band off of just what I'm seeing here. at and is not, is not slouching nor T-Mobile, but Verizon is pulling the the beans out of the, out of the jar right now. So that probably is their tower that's ahead of me. So right now we got for T-Mobile, 468 down, 72 up. Ping, 21 millisecond ping. Jitter at eight. Their respective pings up and down are look, looking good. Verizon, 
1.1 gigs down and 83 up 35 millisecond ping jitter of 11 now I do I don't expect the jitter to be super perfect because you're transmitting a lot of data over the air and interfere you're gonna have interference in some type of way and but it's still good it's still very good 35 millisecond ping and at and is at 412 down and 40 up so they're covering this tangle outlets very well and with it being busy the networks are showing uh, pretty good resiliency so the next one will be fast so when I get ready to do the video testing I'm working on a procedure I want to use, do 4k video testing so 4k gives you it's like 25 megabits per second so right now you we obviously know that we can see that they are all, all, all three above 25 megabits per second t-mobile's at 410 verizon is at 350 now we saw 1.1 gigs but they're only letting us get 350 megabits per second on video how much network uh, managing are they doing on the back end and then at and is pretty close to what, it, what they were showing with data wise 310 megabits per second so their difference between the fast.com and the speed test aren't that much different so Last one is going to be imperv. I want to set these roughly to all the same. We're gonna use New York. New York. New York. All right, this gives you an idea of what they look like. So they're roughly pretty solid across the board. They're pretty neck and neck right now. T-Mobile's inching ahead a little bit. This also comes down to how well the routing is on the back end. This also is what's going to show. And then I'll go more in depth in uh, deeper videos at the same location. So stay tuned for that. Uh, there will be extra videos. I'm probably going to work in gaming at this location also. So how well they perform under gaming scenarios, like you know, connecting to like Call of Duty or destiny which requires you to have a connection so 92% 96% 95% for uh, AT&T's video is better at 360p and it's better at 720p I think all right so T-Mobile 379, 375 down, 84 up, 31 millisecond ping. Verizon, 337 down, 88 up, 34 millisecond ping. And AT&T with the better connection at 406 down and 76, 78 up, 17 millisecond ping. Let's see what the performance looks like. Browsing, 90%. 89%, 89%. So Timo had a better browsing experience. Streaming, 95%, 95 95.6, 95 95.8, 93. So AT&T has the better streaming, um, better streaming for this location. So the experience for streaming is probably gonna be a little bit better. We're gonna find that out in some deeper dive videos 
Uh, stay tuned to those. Uh, we'll have those on the channel also. Probably try to get them linked in the description. Also, uh, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Uh, how do you think the, the video is going to turn out? Leave your comments below. You know, when I start putting them head to head against each other. So I'm curious to find out. Uh, this is my first time directly testing at this spot. So thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a good one.